It is a show specifically designed for people who enjoy time travel, space time, and the like. And in the future, humans discover a way to send consciousness back through time and to people living in the 21st century. Now, can we just say that our producer, Daryl, loves this show? <laughs> Travelers yes. Season 3 arrived on Netflix five days ago, and fans who binged all 10 episodes are on pins and needles, especially about what's going to happen with Marcy and David. Watch this. I'm so sorry. Let me see. Does that hurt? This? Nah, you should see the other guy. What other guy? Uh, I have no idea. I just assuming there was one. Hey, let's get out of here. I'm, I'm craving sesame chicken for some reason. Okay, we can't just pretend like this didn't happen. You deal with this sort of thing every day. What's a minor kidnapping? There's nothing minor about this. I was on the other end of the phone with you while you were giving CPR to somebody after some explosion, for God's sakes. I refuse to make this a bigger deal than it is. Okay, David. You were held by a mass serial killer who thought time travelers were out to get him. I know. Isn't that the stupidest thing you ever heard? <laughs> mm. Looks good. It does. Actor Patrick Gilmore plays David. Here he is. He joined us in the flesh. Hey, Patrick. Oh, Thanks hi, for being guys. here. Hi. First question. Yeah. Did you get the chicken salad? Wasn't the that sesame, chicken. sesame chicken. Sesame, yes. sesame funny, chicken. Funny, I was watching that. I forgot about that line. It's so random. <laughs> sesame chicken. Yeah, was that the first time you've seen that clip? Uh, no, we had a, a, a screening of this in Toronto, but they, they're so tight-lipped about everything that I got mm -hmm. to binge it with everybody else on Friday. Oh. So I was up to about 3 in the morning. And were you happy with the, uh, the final cut? Yeah, there were some tears shed. There uh -huh. was some, uh, you know, it's like watching it for the first time. I, I get to see it as fans do, because I'm, you know, selfishly a fan of the show. How, how do you summarize Travelers? It's about a boy and his dog. <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's hard to, it's time travel, but it's like quantum leap, but the, the backbone and the heart of the show are these relationships that these time travelers have to take over. Because mm. uh, it's not just about saving the world, it's about blending in with the, uh, with the current time. So if you watch it without the, the sound off, you wouldn't, with the sound off, you wouldn't know that it's a, uh, a sci-fi show. It's, it's, it's got and a that's lot your, of hurt. That's where your genre, that's what you like to do, huh? The sci-fi thing? Sure. I mean, who wouldn't? With, with the fans, they're rabid and they're fanatical, they're fanatical fans. <laughs> uh, but Vancouver is, is kind of a hotbed for, for sci-fi, and that's where I started my career was Vancouver, Canada. So you have shows like all the Supernatural, the uh, CWs, the uh, Battle Stars, and X-Files. So how did you prepare for this role? How is it different? Well, oddly enough, the, the role was written for me. Brad Wright, who created the show, was the, the man behind Stargate, the Stargate series. Love that show. Yeah, fun, right? And that went yeah. for 17 seasons? I, I don't even remember, but I worked with him the last two seasons of it. And so he had this in mind for me. So the moment I got the sides, I could hear the melody of the character because mm -hmm. we have very, very similar senses of humor. So I know season three just came out, but is there, is there going to be more? Well, that depends on you. <laughs> Are you going to go home and binge it tonight? Yes. Because Netflix, they're really tight-lipped about their numbers, but I think it all is going to depend on the, uh, the binging numbers for the next couple of weeks. Okay. So, so I, uh, I stalked your, your, one of your social media accounts anyway. Go on. Go and uh, what's your favorite Die Hard line? Oh. Well, because I mean, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. It is, right? <laughs> yeah, but use the one like it's a family show. I know that's the only line that pops in yeah, my mind. Exactly. Don't say it. Yeah, <laughs> yippee kaye. We'll just leave it at that. Mother trucker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thanks for stopping by. Hey, thanks for having me. Patrick Gilmore from Travelers. Check it out on Netflix. We'll be Binge right it. back with your top Binge stories. It. Binge it.